How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about downloading websites and shit like that. Doesn't sound super hackerish. Just going to be doing some command line magic and stuff like that and hopefully hopefully this video turns out well because OBS decides to make my voice sound like it's from f goddamn roly poly -oly or something like that. So I'm using camera's mic, audacity, and OBS with my fucking webcam mic to sync everything together because for whatever reason I can't get this video right. Uh, let, I'm, I'm gonna be going over a little scenario that I had earlier with uh, trying to get a hold of all the links in the Google Hacking Database which you can see on my screen right now. Woo! Google Hacking Database. And what is the Google Hacking Database? Well, it's not what you think it is. It's just a bunch of Google dork terms, meaning it's a bunch of things you can look up on Google to find stuff. It's not like... It's not like uh, things that were hacked and found on Google. It's things that could be hacked and found on Google. <laughs> yeah, let's run over the situation, how I solved it with uh, the Linux terminal and how you could probably do this uh, yourself at home. I'm going to be walking my entire thought process on this. And uh, yeah, just just stick around and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is the Google Hacking Database. And to me, this all makes sense. Um, I could probably make another video on just Google hacking or Google dorking, it's synonymous, and GitHub dorking and such like that. But anyways, I like like the, this first one right here, it's looking for HTML pages or PHP, or whatever uh, web page with the title PFSense login. Now PFSense is a firewall, so it's looking for firewall landing pages. On Google so if I was to click here and click here it's gonna take me to Google instantly we get some things we get revelation.com o4w so these are all login pages to firewalls I want to get all of these uh, you know Google dorks and there's 5100 entries so that's a ton of data that I want to take a look at I want to look at all of these but it's simply just impossible to do that by clicking here and then clicking here again. So that's two clicks, just to view one item. I wanna view all the items. Now I'm not gonna go over using Beautiful Soup or anything like that. My thought process was to use that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pull the links and I'm gonna put them into a file. So let's go back here. So in, initially when I was looking to tackle this, uh, this problem, my first thought is use an API. Uh, just, you know, call the API, download everything in, exploit db slash google hacking database to just download everything and good to go no not working like that there is no api here so i'm like okay i gotta do this the hard way so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna copy this and i'm just gonna do a wget wget exploit db.com slash google hacking database wget cool so if i do an ls here i got that file google hacking database and if i was to concatenate that I get, you know, the entire HTML of what I'm just looking at right now. Okay, cool. So we got everything. So now I'm going to do the same thing. So cat and then, you know, I'm just going to grep for, mm, I see the first one right here says PF sense. So I'm going to look up grep PF sense. And just to entertain you guys, I'm going to do tack I. Tack I means ignore case. And in this sense, in this case, it didn't find anything. Weird, it's on the HTML page, why didn't it work? Okay, let's try this again. PF sense didn't show up. Uh, in title should definitely show up. In title didn't show up, it's right here. It's in the HTML, it's right there. So, I did a little bit more digging. I was just inspecting the element I thought that's so weird. I sounded like I just got done inspecting the element. Huh. Uh, so I click on this little icon right here where I can select like a specific element. If you didn't know that trick, that that's fucking sweet. I just only found out about that like a year ago. And you can like highlight stuff. So right there, bam. Ahref slash ghdb slash 5668. If, if, if you've done any sort of, you know, stuff with uh, offensive security, Fireworks are going off in your head right now on how you could tackle this a very easy way. If you don't know what I'm referring to is there is slash ghdb slash 5668. So what am I naturally going to do next? Well, I'm going to go to slash 
ghdb slash one. Something showed up. Maybe is there a two? You know what? I'm going to bet my fucking paycheck there is a three. I'm going to bet my next, uh, the dollar, four, exists. So, what can I do to solve this problem? There's no API. If I W get, you know, the fucking this right here, uh, this right here, it's not working. I'm just going to run one Linux command, one Linux command, and I'm going to download all the files. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to download all 5,180. I'm just going to download 10. So we're going to do wget, uh, and then we're going to do exploitdb.com. But remember, it's it's a different URL. It's uh, Google Hacking DB slash and then we're gonna put in brackets one dot dot and we're gonna only do 10. So that, that that in brackets one dot dot 10, it's gonna do one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10 and it's gonna download all of those files. We have now downloaded the first 10 files of the exploit DB list. So if I come back here and do an LS, I got one, two, you know, blah, blah, blah. So if I used to cat, you know, one, I get a whole HTML file, How, but what, why, why does that matter? Well, yeah, so we're going to grep for, and then we'll do the tack I google.com. Now the reason why I didn't put HTTP or HTTPS, if you saw up here, this was from 2003 and HTTPS wasn't widely, uh, deployed. So I'm just going to do google.com. There it is right there, href, https, google.com, forward slash search, squid, cache, server reports. And if I was to copy that into a Google browser, I will get that search result. So what can I do from here? I got 10 results. Am I just going to do this one, one by one by one? Fuck no, we're going to use Linux again. So I'm actually just going to make this full screen because uh, we don't need it to be partial screen. So we're going to do grep, tack r means recursive. And we're gonna do that same string at google.com. And I put that in single quotes, and then we'll put a period right there. Meaning it's gonna it's gonna recursively search the directory we are currently in right now. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. And I get bash history for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, there's our Google dorks that we want to look at. So what we can do from here now is we can cut that down if we want to. We don't, I I did it the cheap way. I went through Sublime Text Editor and did it that way. Cut, and we're just gonna do tack D, uh, delimiter, so it's gonna be the open caret F2. Okay, now we got this, a little easier to work with. So now we're gonna copy this, go into Sublime, copy it into here, and we're gonna do Control F, so find, and then we're gonna put A href equals double quote. So you can see all of these highlighted right here. So we're gonna hit find all backspace. We deleted the ahref tag using Sublime. The same thing applies to the, the end part, find all, boom. And there we go. Uh, and you can do that with all 5,000 other uh, sort of uh, search terms. And you can you know use Python. Uh, I think there's actually a Python library for Google searching. I'm not too entirely sure, but anyways, the whole list of Google dorks on the Google hacking database, I there might be a few that I've missed, but I got a good chunk of them on my GitHub, which I'll put a link down in the description. But you may be asking yourself, well, that's cool, but how the hell am I gonna use that in a real world experience? Great question. You can't, I'm just kidding. Uh, so let's go back here. Since we're on the topic of wget, Let's say I want to enumerate an entire website. Well, that's easy, Cody. We're just gonna, I, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a directory first so I can just delete it. CD PayPal. 
So I let's say you want to download an entire website. That sounds so fucking weird, right? I mean, it's just download a website. Oh, download paypal.com. No, I'm going to download paypal.com. I'll show you guys. Uh, so why would you want to do this? Well, if you're looking to do a red team engagement, a phishing campaign that is allowed, don't do, don't do malicious phishing campaigns. God forbid you do that. If you do, if you decide to do that, that's on you. I'm just showing you how to do this for ethical reasons. Uh, so paypal.com. Oh, you just w get paypal.com. There we go. I'm using a subsystem. Oh great, here we go. Here we go down the fucking rabbit hole. Here we go. Windows, no. God damn it. I can't just like Firefox. Can I just pop it open in Firefox? What is the directory for Windows subsystem? Oh lord, wow. That is quite the directory. I, ooh. There's some days where I'm like, yippity yip yip yip. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Dur that. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this is so fucking annoying. I was so close. I was so close. Anyways, back onto the video. So what you can do, if you're to pull this up, it would not load properly. So what you want to do instead is download all of the contents because to make an HTML page to load, it's calling out a bunch of JavaScript, CSS, it might be calling Google Fonts, an image over here. Let's download everything that we want to. So we'll wget paypal.com, but let's do this. Let's do tac tac no parent tac r paypal.com and then the forward slash matters because we want to download everything in that forward slash. We hit enter. Is that it? Really? Back, back, sudo remove rf paypal. And we're gonna do the same thing, but with mark five security. And then there you go. You saw the favicon, the about, the PNG, the SVG, the blue BG. So if we do ls cd markvsecurity.com, ls boom gotcha bitch everything's in here and then assets it's gonna be a bunch of images and javascript and such like that anyways that's it for this video this video should have been 11 minutes long but i was trying to figure out how to use fucking windows subsystem this entire time which i failed to do so thank you for watching uh if you can jam that that subscribe button uh beat the fucking shit out of that like button share this with at least 700,000 friends and you all have a fine and dandy day. Thank you.